So for this video today we'll be looking at motion detection and how to set that up. Um, so by the end of this video you should be able to have it all working and uh, hopefully being able to utilize the feature of the recorder. So the first thing you'll get is your language selection. We're just going to exit that. Um, we've got auto logging enabled on this recorder so it's just prompting us to change the password. Um, we don't need to log in because of the feature we've got enabled here so we're going to modify later. Um, for the setup wizard, you can uh, go through the steps and set them up uh, accordingly to how you like. Um, should you not want to do this or do it later on, you can simply disable the wizard if you don't want it prompting you again. And uh, for the purpose of this, we're just going to exit this. And so you can see we've got a camera ready here. Um, I'm going to change the view to four so you get a, a better view of the camera and a, a feel for the layout of the recorder. Um, obviously, we can change this uh, as as necessary. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is set up the camera. So to do that, we're going to go system, normal event, and normal event is basically the motion detection because smart events are for our AI cameras, and uh, there will be other videos for those events. So by default, the full area is set. So anything within these red squares will trigger the motion. Um, so if you if you want to draw it out yourself, you can using the left mouse button and you can simply draw out these squares as and where you want them. Simply click the squares again and they will delete uh, if you don't want them where you've placed them. Um, if you feel that you've made a mess of it, just clear it and then you can start again. Um, if you're happy with full screen, then by all means you can use that. Um, generally, you want to key out areas like trees. So you can see I've got this tree outside, a lot of movement going on. And you might not want that kind of false notifying you because it is at the end of the day motion and that's what it is picking up. Um, this is then where sensitivity can also come in play. So you can reduce how sensitive the movement needs to be in order to trigger that. Uh, zero is the lowest and does work. And 10 is the most sensitive and uh, being the highest. So I generally leave it around three and that's generally enough to, to get all the events you need. Uh, once you're happy with what you've got here, just hit apply. Next is, uh, well, you've got the arming schedule here. Um, no, we don't really need to utilize this as we'll be doing it from the storage and from our uh, from another section. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the key thing here is linkage action. So buzzer alarm is the actual recorder will beep itself. So if you want to utilize that, you can turn that on. Uh, email notification, so if you've set up the SMTP settings on the recorder, you can enable the email notifications and that will send you an email. Uh, but the key thing is, is channel recording. So when motion is picked up, the channel should start uh, recording. And if you don't have that enabled, it won't actually save the event or the what's happening, but it, it will still work. It just won't be saving it. Uh, the alarm output is that you'll find some of our recorders has the option for uh, an external alarm. Should you be using this and you want it to uh, give some uh, notification to your alarm, uh, you can use that. Uh, this all will depend on the type of alarm you're using and how it works with the recorder, etc. Once you're happy with all this, uh, just hit apply. And that is our camera now ready. Um, also, something I must say, you just need to make sure you enable it uh, so that the feature is on and again apply. So now we've got it all ready and it's all enabled. Uh, should you need to um, do another camera, you can change the channel or you can simply copy over the settings uh, to another camera or all of the cameras if you just simply want to replicate what you've done. So next we're going to go to storage. Uh, here we've got our channel selected, which is one. Um, make sure it's enabled so that we are indeed recording. Uh, we're going to select intelligent, I mean, oops, sorry, motion. Uh, we need to select motion here because that's the events we're doing. Um, and you simply left click and drag this out. Okay, so now we've got our motion all dragged out and applied to all days. Do edit this how you want. So maybe Sundays you don't want motion recording or maybe on Sundays you only want motion recording. So you can do that, select normal and then we can remove the normal recording. So on Sundays we're only recording motion and the rest is both. 
so you can be quite flexible with how you want to uh, plan this out and do adjust it to how you want once you're happy click apply um, also you got more settings here so with more settings is just basically how much pre-recording time there is and the post recording uh, you can increase this uh, but you cannot further reduce it um, and generally I would say five seconds is enough but a minute can be good so once the motion's been detected it'll keep recording motion for another 60 seconds but do change this to how you feel is best okay oh I've gone and uh, lost some settings now so I'm just going to put the normal record back I think I've misclicked that okay so now I'm just going to wave out here to uh, trigger that motion. And then once this is done, you can go to your playback, select motion. For the purpose of this, we're going to go just motion here. And then hit play. And you will see that we've got our motion event there saved.